Welcome back to DNJ React, where travel sparks conversation every day. In today's conversation, it's my seven favorite countries in Asia. As you guys know, this upcoming year, we're going to be traveling over to Asia. We're actually going to be moving there full time. We're officially leaving the United States for good. Um, so we're just kind of binge watching all the videos that you guys are recommending over in our community chat. And a lot of them happen to be Asia, which is where we're going. So it's kind of kind of fun for Perfect. us, honestly. Yeah, yeah. cause there's uh, insane amounts of places to go visit over there. So we're willing to, you know, watch as many videos as we can, learn about the culture, the language, the differences. language differences, the places to travel, yeah. the, you know, the, how far our dollar can go over there, oh, which yeah. is like insane to me. Massive difference from the US. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, it's insane. So we're excited to jump in. So let's not waste any time. Let's go. Do it. Having spent the last five years living in four Asian countries and visiting almost every nation on the continent, I have gained a wealth of knowledge about its life, culture, and food. What I love so much about Asia is whenever you hop a border, things change drastically. Languages change, religions become different, the food gets more distinct, there are endless opportunities to learn and evolve, and the friendliness of the Asian people will always make you feel at home. The following are my seven favorite countries in Asia that I hope you get the chance to visit someday. One, the Philippines. Yeah, boy. Boy. This is this is the first place that we're going as soon as we leave the United States. Mm -hmm. First place we're going is the Philippines. This country is all about the people, and even after 30 visits, I get happier every time. It's almost deceptive on how nicely they will treat you everywhere you go. And it's great that nearly everyone, from big cities to small villages, can speak English fluently. Filipino side! And should I mention that the Philippines has the best beaches in Asia, scattered across 7,641 islands? Okay, three more things. Sinigang, Halo Halo, and Lechong. Yes. Two, South Korea. I taught English in a village outside of Seoul for two years and i loved it this country is vibrant energetic and the, the difference between um like teachers over in asia and the difference here like here we don't really bond or connect with our no, teachers no. at all it's kind of just like a person you're just like hey it's like and then you're you leave right yeah. afterwards but you have zero connection to your teachers at all maybe like the they call them um um with teachers pet Teacher's pet might be the closest, oh, yeah. closest relationship to a teacher, mm -hmm. but they don't hang out outside of school. No, that doesn't all. happen here um, because of a lot of weird stuff that happens yeah. in here in America with that kind of situation. Exactly. But over there, they're like family, like they grow up together. The, the moms like a second parent. parents know the teachers, mm -hmm. the teachers hang out with the kids, they have karaoke night with the parents and everybody's it's like a big family, yeah. you know, like even people that uh were taught by certain teachers will come back to the country uh, 10 15 like just amazing Lee, yeah you know her channel she showed you know she went back and hung out with her teacher it's pretty stuff. amazing I, yeah that's a common thing it was literally like going back to see family mm -hmm. you don't do that here in the u.s there's no connection to your teachers over here like there is over there and they, they really respect their teachers over yeah. there too here they throw like paper balls at their teachers oh, so rude beat them up and stuff in the u.s but over there it's it's like a family thing which is really cool fun. Nightclubs and restaurants in Seoul seemingly never close as soju bottles pop open late and slices of beef sizzle oh, wow. on communal so grill. Good. Public transport around the country is immaculate. The hiking is fantastic and the internet speeds are the fastest on earth. What more could you ask for? Three, Singapore. This tiny tropical island nation continues to amaze me even after five visits. I love the mix of cultures from Chinese to Malay, Indonesian, and Indian. It's full of hidden surprises. For foodies, all you need to know is two words, hawker center, large open air food courts with vendors selling their best specialized dish. Tian Tian chicken rice, the best chicken rice in the world. Mm. Step into the future at oh the Marina Bay Sands and Gardens by the Bay and soak in the urban skyline. Four, Vietnam. This country has a magical charm that I haven't seen anywhere else. Having lived in Hanoi for five months, you will learn to embrace the millions of motorbikes honking and zooming God, across the crazy. narrow streets. Ha Long Bay is a must visit, just like Ninh Binh. And shall we mention beef pho and bun cha for a dollar? Speaking of price, Vietnam is one of the cheapest countries I've ever been. Bye bye! Bye bye! Five, Nepal. What I loved 
so much about Nepal was the people's willingness to show me a little way of Nepali life. <laughs> Even from random strangers on the street. From the world's best dumplings called momos. With buffalo meat inside. Oh, to the food of the Himalayas that. and the lovely street of Kathmandu. I'm here in the capital of Kathmandu, the largest city in the Himalayan region. I feel so Nepali. Yeah. <laughs> Nepal is a place that I'd love to return. Six, Indonesia. If you go to a different island every day, it would take you 46.3 years to visit every oh island God. in Indonesia. Jeez. So you better start now. <laughs> Bali is a spectacular place. Welcome to Bali! And I highly recommend it, despite all the tourists. If you like volcanoes, coconuts, rice terraces, beaches, smiles, and cheap food, then this country is for you. Seven, Japan. The best way I can describe Japan is that it's 10 years ahead of the world in terms of technology and innovation. I love to see that. You really have to see it to believe it. And that is popcorn from a vending machine. It's also the safest country in the world. <laughs> and one that I will continue to visit forever. Oh yeah, wow. and they make these foods called sushi and ramen that you should try. While this list is in no way complete, it's a good starting point to the best countries that Asia has to offer. So now I will ask you, what are your favorite countries in Asia? Please comment your thoughts below. See you next time! I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. Wow, that's so cool. That's really awesome. Yeah, this guy, Drew Binsky, has a very unique channel. Like he said, he travels all over the world, so make sure you guys uh, give him a subscribe. Make sure you guys like his content, because he posts some really cool stuff, and I know like the rest of the world that can't do this kind of stuff is living vicariously through oh, yeah, him so absolutely. it's like such a blessing that there's channels like this out there to teach us all about culture and we get to see it from their point of view right. it's, it's really cool um but good stuff guys i think japan is probably i want to go to japan so bad because i want to see the technology yeah i want to see the tech that's the biggest thing is these they always say like they're 10 years plus ahead of everywhere oh, else robotics so. and ai yeah, and they have like automated restaurants where the robots come and serve you the food and stuff. I just- I'm excited to see that. I really want to see it. Um, but good stuff. If you guys have any more videos like this that you would recommend, please download the Patreon app and put them in the community chat over there. We only say download the Patreon app because in the regular, on, on the internet, when you search it on Google, they don't have a community chat on Patreon and I don't know, I don't why. know why. So you have to download the app to get into the community chat. But once you do, drop all of your um, your videos that you would recommend to us, whether it be you know K-pop, P-pop, songs, whatever you guys want, plus travel videos, let us know, drop them over there. We're giving you guys seven days free. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.